Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, a game that is currently in early access, uh, and in, in many ways is sort of a spiritual uh, evolution on the Rule the Waves series. What I mean by that is this is a game where in the final intended state of the game, you will be a secretary of a navy during the campaign game. You will design ships, you will manage budgets, manage research, manage training, you will organize your fleet... And then when countries go to war, you'll fight the war and you'll fight the battles. And in many ways, it's just like Rule of Waves in that sense, except in this game, there will be 3D battles on a pretty good looking map. And then in theory, they're hoping to eventually have uh, like the ability to move fleets and units around on the map uh, where Rule of Waves just kind of randomly generates everything. With that being said, the game is currently in its earliest version of the campaign. The first campaign patch just came out a couple of weeks back. And so this version of the campaign, which is the very first, it's very much like an alpha, I would say, is just two countries, Britain and Germany, in the year 1890, fighting each other in an individual war. And all battles are randomly generated. And in this sat that sense, it is very much like Rule the Waves. But it does have 3D battles. Um, Rule of Waves obviously has a, has a bigger campaign, politics and diplomacy between wars and all that other stuff. None of that's in this game yet. This game is being developed by Game Labs, the developers of Ultimate General Gettysburg, Ultimate General Civil War, Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, This Land is My Land, Naval Action, I think that's most of them. And uh, it also has a random battle generator if you just want to fight individual battles, and it has a naval academy where you can go and uh, overcome 53 different design challenges where it's kind of like design this type of battleship in this year to defeat this particular opponent or whatever. That being said, guys, this was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel. Link in the description if you want to join those. We had a lot of fun. And... Um, we just fought a couple of battles, one where we rammed the enemy ships and every ship on the battlefield was sunk. So we won because we sank enemy battleships, but it also was like a Pyrrhic, not a Pyrrhic victory. It was like mutual assured destruction, except their ships being sunk were worse. So we did better and we're doing really well in the campaign so far. The Germans are doing very poorly. Um, the AI is getting really stomped and I think we're probably getting close to the end of the war. But without further ado, let's jump back in. And yeah, do merchants count? Well, they count against your unrest, Stein, and I think they always have. But to my knowledge, no, they don't count for very many victory points. So let's jump in. Okay. All right, I'm just going to tell my CLs to form up on me. We're going to go with a, a breast or a head formation with a tight. We're going to go tight on the formation. Times five speed. It is daytime. Overcast. We're in the midst of a gale with very rough seas. Maybe we should actually go abreast in that case. If we go abreast, in theory, we should have better spotting, like less likelihood of us sailing right by him. Um, I don't know that I would call Game Labs the game developer. Like, I know they're a game developer, but in some sense, they seem to function more like a publisher than a game developer. Yes, they're making, like, multiple other games right now, but I'm pretty sure those are all independent teams. Like, I don't... The, the coders who are working on Ultimate Admiral are not the same guys who are working on, like, This Land is My Land or Naval Action or whatever else. So, like, um, Nick Tomatis, I think, is the designer of Ultimate General Gettysburg and Ultimate General Civil War. To my knowledge, he had no hand in naval action or this land is my land. I don't even think he was terribly heavily involved in Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, but this game, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, is, is definitely the game he's focusing on. So we're just cruising along. Oh, 
Four transports? Hey, look, we spotted them at less than a kilometer range. All right. Where are the other ones? Give me a question mark of four. I don't see any. Lol. Wouldn't it suck to be this guy? Oh my god! Ah! They won't stop shooting! If I was the AI, I would have gone for the ram. Bad day. Bad day, buddy. Boom, boom, boom. And goodbye. Oh, look, another one. Main question is where the enemy uh, warships. Uh, uh oh, are you going to get rammed? Oh, shit. Your torpedoes are set on. Don't waste your goddamn torpedoes there. Hey, you just sailed through the sinking ship. Oh, no, you rammed him. Fuck. You did rip the bottom of your ship out on the enemy sinking enemy ship. All right, so that's how it works. Oh, shit, you're getting... Are you getting friendly fired, or are you... Does the enemy have guns, I think? Another enemy merchant here. We know there's one back the other way too. All right, I'm gonna detach this CL and have him go back the other way. Anybody remember how many enemy merchants were supposed to be on this battle? Was it 11? Pen fire. God damn it. Are you still firing torpedoes off? You freaking dumbos. Save your fish. Honestly, like in a real world scenario, I wouldn't even be telling my crews to use their 8 inch guns. I'd just have them all using secondaries. There's no reason to waste that kind of firepower on. Rear of the enemy convoys over this way. Where are you going? Engage the Frankfurt. Let's detach you. Yeah, I get any sacks. Oh, fuck. Womp, womp, womp. Fire torpedo. No? Why aren't you shooting at the nearest target, Dumbo? And yes, I did just tell him to fire a torpedo. How many have we sunk now? Yeah, the Lutzo is getting hit. The Königsberg is also getting hit. Enemy ships are definitely out this way. I don't know how it still says we've achieved 0% hits on these guys yet. It's clearly not the case. Right, 
this guy's gonna sink from flooding damage for sure. Berg should be going down here soon. I think the bad guys are shooting at the Barossa, but it might also be my own ships. It's hard to say. Konigsberg, no engines, no rudder, fire and flooding. Goner. It has one troop transport question mark. Is that the transporter? I guess it should be a merchant ship, but I guess maybe that's the one that's sinking. 64% of the enemy fleet has been sunk. Where'd they all go? At this point, the enemy ships, the enemy cruisers were never spotted. We were never able to keep keep up or catch up. They were faster than us. So the next five minutes is just me chasing nothing uh, or ships that I can't catch up on. So let's jump ahead to the end. Well, on the battle. So it's probably going to be go down as a defeat. It is. Germany gets two victory points for some reason. We sank seven ships. Lost nothing. So I would like to think this would be a pretty bad, pretty bad day for the German merchant marine, but. What the heck is a Legion Pro, Sean Mack? What are you talking about? All right, let's move on to March. Building new ships. The German Empire created plans of a new design, the Kaiser Wilhelm de Grosse class battleship. Also, a Dessau class heavy cruiser, the S14 class torpedo boat. So we've got a battle in the North Atlantic with one CL on each side. And then we've got a convoy battle as well. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, how's the research going? So, we have now uncovered that the research here is for triple expansion engines. It says 24 more months on them, huh? Or we can cut it to, is it 16? I can't really tell. 16 or 18. Eighteen, thanks, Bean. Heck of a first-time comment, by the way. First-time commenter, eighteen. All right, let's do the cruiser versus cruiser battle. One v one, me, bro. One v one, me. The Medusa. You've been lurking for a long while. Well, it's good to see you. All right, we're heading to the southeast where the enemy light cruiser is supposedly located. Or southeast. Is that what I said? My general strategy for fighting, fighting enemy cruisers, especially considering the German light cruisers have six inch guns and I've got four inch guns, is just charge. Just make for torpedo range and then do your best. We could try to like HEM to death or rate of fire them to death, but when we get closer, I'm going to slow the time compression, probably to real time. You can do smoke, so can I. 
Anything you can do- oh shit. See, anything you can do, I can do better, and then he hits me with a... ...devastating six-inch shell. Causes flooding in the front of my ship. That's the problem of going up against an enemy with superior caliber guns. They can really fuck you up. Oof. We haven't even hit him once yet. So much for my smoke screen helping. We're down to 12 knots. Let's slow this up. Doesn't matter if I can land a couple torpedoes. He's probably going to fire at me here in a moment. That's my fish. We're already turning, but we'll go hard over now. Switch fish to aggressive amidships now. His torpedo won't hit. Looks like mine might. Second torpedo out. Oh, it just missed. Oh, that def second torpedo of mine is definitely going to miss. He's got a second one out. I'm already turning hard over. That should be safe. Nice. We're getting some nice flooding hits on him. Another fish out for him. Another miss. Wow. My rate of fire might really be coming in handy here. Another fish out for me. He's going to uh, turn to avoid it. I'm going to try and stay behind him, however. He's at 20 float. Let's try and pass him and maybe we can get a stern shot out. Oh, we got him. The four inches at close range. That's what you get for a broadside of seven. Just blasted him to Kingdom Come at close range, I guess. We inflicted twice the damage on him. Yeah, so we had 109 hits. Or sorry, 10 hits? Average effective penetration only 2 inches. Average armor penetrated 0.1. So 10 out of 109 shots hit. He only fired 64 shells. So this is where you can see the advantage of one having seven guns of broadside. He has four or three. But also the fact that he's firing six inches and we're firing seven or fours. And so you can see his average armor penetrated was 2.1 inches. He had just shy of one-third as many hits, a little bit less than half the damage, so you can see the explosive power was be better on him. But he didn't have the same number of hits, so even though the six inches did a lot of damage, if you if you scale that out, that's six, seven, fifty? Actually, no, we did more, more damage. The fires did 222 of our damage, though, so the fires we set were a big part of of the damage inflicted. If you take the fires out, then yeah, he would have had more damage per shell hit. But we had two and a half times as many hits. Secondary guns. I don't even know what his were. He had eight hits with them. They're four inch secondaries, I guess. Our secondary guns, we had 16 hits with them. Our secondaries were... Wait a minute, how do we have 16 secondary gun hits when we don't have any secondary... Oh, the two inchers. So our secondaries did 300 damage as well. With their 16 hits versus 8. Yeah, we just rate of fired him. There you go. A victory for the British Empire. What's new? Naval Prestige is up to 30.
I don't know if like liked is the best prestige that you can get. And then we've got another convoy uh, battle here in the North Atlantic. Two CLs. He's got a CA. But we've got to protect our merchants. So it says we're reinforcing. I think that's what the R means. I always thought it meant repaired, but pretty sure it means reinforcing now. So the enemy's going to get sucked in to attack these TRs. And we've got to rescue them. So there's his six inch armed armored cruisers. Gonna go after the lead of our merchants here. If you're doing really well, they'll give you a lump sum of extra cash. I don't know that I need extra cash right now. We've got a ton of money in the bank. We've got like 70 million in the bank. Flying speed stokers, get it going. We've got to close the range with the enemy. If you run out of money. If you run out of money, they'll give you a lump sum, yes. But then they'll... You'll get a huge prestige and unrest penalty. So it's not something I would generally advise. Well, Illustrious is in trouble. These might be the first merchants we've lost in a while. We fought a couple merchant battles, but they've always been against opponents who are engaged before they can do much damage. So I might lose a couple of merchants here. Come on, men. Close the distance. Wow. Look at all that damage they're knocking up. Oh, sweet. The Ventress has a four-inch gun. It looks like my, my ships, my merchant ships do have guns in this battle. They suck at aiming, but... Bad day for the boys aboard this ship, huh? <laughs> hey, they got a penetration. Good job, boys. Any chance you'll want to ram them? Oh. 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 Sturdy merchantman versus armored cruiser. Ah. <laughs> okay. I think the armored cruiser got the better of that ram, but still damage done. CLs to the rescue. Deutschland suffered almost 10% structure damage against the merchants. Another penetration there. Go, boys. The Marne is going to be sunk. Why is there a British ship named the Marne? Deutschland, Deutschland. Lieber alles. Close the range, boys. Man, that... I can't believe the German rammed the merchant. It's just so unnecessary. Light cruisers over here. Armored cruiser over here. Their secondaries are starting to shoot at us. Their primary turrets are turning on us. Oh, well, we got about as close as we can get, I guess. Great, our lead ship immediately takes flotation damage and is losing speed. Yeah, damn it. We're going to go with aggressive torpedo firing here. 
for the retribution and for the Persian. Partial penetration at that angle? Yeah, right. More flooding, which presumably means more speed loss. It's turning away. Smart AIs like, keep out of torpedo range. Okay, we'll turn away. Just slightly. Our light cruisers make 19.5, he makes 19.5. I would think between like 24 inch guns we could slow him down a little. Smoke. God damn it, we just took a huge flooding hit. The enemy knows! He knows I wish to torpedo him. He's just keeping out of torpedo range. They're learning. Skynet is learning. All right. Bastard. This legitimately feels like a battle we could theoretically lose. Didn't I have a light cruiser named Medusa in the last battle? Oh, he's got a light cruiser named Medusa. Her suspicious. Put the smoke out, boys. Screw it. Turn back. Let's go for the CL. Why doesn't Deutschland want to fight me close? Alright, SEALs, let's gang up on this enemy protected cruiser back here. So we can get an angle. More flooding. Presumably that means more speed loss. Goddamn six inches with their better range and firepower. Medusa is faster than me, too. But the armored cruiser is going to continue to sail away, so. Right, so you can turn away and get away from me, but if he turns toward me or in any other direction there, he's going to be in trouble. Alright, so we're getting some of that flooding repaired so we can speed up a little bit. Shit! Turn! Ugh! His torpedoes hit me. But we put two, one torpedo at least. Damn it! Well, we sank him, but Retribution's going down, probably. Persian might also. One seal at the expense of two. I was trying to play that battle too, at too high a plane, like elevation-wise, to really be able to track what was going on. Can I end the battle yet? If we leave now, it'll be a victory, but... As soon as one of these guys sinks... I like the sound of the, uh... Shells when they break up on your hull.
Right, is he gonna turn inside? Turns, come on inside my range. Can we fire torpedoes at him? Stationary? Can you get a midship's torpedo launch out? Nope. You're sinking. He's gonna get me both. Unless I can get a stern shot in here. One fish is away. He's turning. Uh, two fishes are away. That's gonna hit. Boom! All three of his engines are gone. He might still sink the Persian. He's able to get out of torpedo range. Any chance the Persian can close on him now that his, his engine should basically be dead? My engines aren't in great shape either. I'm only making seven knots, but if he really goes dead in the water for a little bit, we might be able to catch him. Seems like he's still got some headway on him, though. Not sure how much. Oh, we're starting to close. It's just a question of how long it takes him to repair his engines. Now we got an overpen on the funnel. We're set to aggressive. Just fire the damn torp. Oh, fish in the water. Bow tube away. He has no ability to maneuver. Oh, actually, he does. Oh! It just missed. Just barely went by. Turn. Turn before he sinks you. Tell me you've got that broadside ready. Another fish away. He's maneuvering back the other way. Got him! Stern torpedo hit. Okay. Now we just need the frickin' stern tubes. The Persian's in trouble. So is he. Last fish, or not last, but one of our last fish away. Going right up his ass again! Boom! <laughs> Another fish away? Yep. If that wasn't enough. Another fish away. That one's gonna miss. We have one torpedo left. Game doesn't track which tubes are full or empty. It does from like a, I, this tube can fire again, or this one can't. But it doesn't from a... Like, where are your eight fish located? That was a terrible shot. Another miss. Well, we can end the battle and walk away with the Persian intact. We can try and gun it out, which it does not look like. I don't even know how many of my guns are still firing at this point. We don't have very good hit rates. He's at 15 float, 23 structure. I am... No, I... <sighs> Oh, we lost the battle there. Both our ships are sunk. 
as well as some merchants. This heavy cruiser is badly damaged and light cruiser sunk. He actually got more victory points out of that than we did. That's the first true defeat that we've had in quite a while. So we lose a little bit of prestige and there's some naval run unrest. And if we move forward to April, border patrol. Ooh, this is gonna be a big fight. As we enter hostile waters, a considerable enemy fleet blocks our pass, path. The battleship Africa, armored cruiser Endymion, light cruiser Canterbury, light cruiser Medusa, and torpedo boat Kestrel. There's two German battleships and a torpedo boat. We can choose to withdraw, fight, or delay. Let's fight. Here we go, boys. Probably the last battle for the night. These guys. Screen. Screen. All right, I'm going to have the armored cruiser form up on the uh, battleship. Smoke is to the east. Let's go, boys. Shit. Already being fired upon, huh? All right, we're going to send the seals up. Screw screening. Send them up this way. Set the torpedo boat. Oh, shit. Pause. I did not want to do that. Canterbury detach. Medusa detach. Form on each other. Kestrel detach. Form here. There we go. Light Cruiser Canterbury, you are the formation lead. Tight formation abreast. And go for the enemy. Battleship Africa, turn this way. Times five. Range 5.5 kilometers in closing. And to me, I don't think the longer or the shorter range guns are in play yet. Oh. Eight inches just fired on the end of meal. Torpedo boat will cut behind. Kestrel Medusa. There's the formation. They're forming up. Enemy screening ships are coming up here as well. What do they have? One torpedo boat? Alright, so our screening ships are our, our light cruisers are forming up, are actually forming a line in front of our main battle fleet. Problem is he's fast. So our main guns are switching over to this torpedo boat. Which I'll always just double back if it looks like he's gonna get in torpedo range. Two kilometers out. We just had a torpedo boat with a 12 inch gut shell. Over penetration. You think? I think everybody would be dead on this ship if a 12 inch shell exploded on it. I guess maybe not on an overpen. It may go through and through, but still. Okay, those torpedo boats are just too survivable. Yeah, they probably are. Lol, three 12 inch shells. <laughs> oh, rip to the boys on board. They died instantly. Is the 
battleship really are the battleships really turning away? You've got two battleships. We've got one. Come on, boys, fight. All right. We can make 19 knots. Their battleships only can make 16, so we can close the range with our lighter ships. Actually, our battleship is even faster. All of our ships are faster than them now. Speed things up as we try and close the range. Four, five. We are closing on them slowly. Only the Ford turrets are firing here at this stage. What do I say every episode? A stern chase is a long chase. Alright. Four kilometers. The enemy own should probably be in front and the battleship in rear, but I wish I got a chance. You know, one of the things I really like about War on the Sea is the fact that you can choose your formation before the battle starts. I would love to be able to do that here. There's no reason. I mean, we definitely could choose our own formation before the battle starts if this was a real fight. Would HE be better at range? I don't know. Maybe for the secondaries, we're not really hitting and not penetrating. The, the reason we're getting the ricochets is more the angle than the, uh, than like lack of armor penetration. Looks like we can't penetrate at like the mid sh mid sections, but we're firing at the stern. So, how much armor do they have? They have up to twelve inches of armor. Jeez, I don't think we have that. Up to ten point six, and they have up to twelve. Give him credit, that's a strong belt. But the fact that they're only shooting at my battleship lets my light ships close the distance ever so slowly. Africa is flooding, however. I'm only making 13 knots now. It's okay. I kind of view in the way I fight. Oh, Africa's turning out a formation, Endemion's going to be the new formation lead. I kind of view my battleships almost like just bait, which is maybe not... Oh, God. Uh... Reverse. Shit, you're going to collide. The one thing I will say that's weird about the AI is when they're like, oh, we're going to... We're going to turn out of formation. They don't really, and most of the time, they don't turn all the way out of formation. They just decide we're going to, like, veer out of formation slightly, let the CL come out ahead of us. Okay, cruisers. Battleships still don't want to shoot at you. So, close the range. Smoke screen. Are your torpedoes? Why are you not firing your torpedoes? Why are you not firing your torpedoes? Finally, you have a flash fire. Can't have already done. Well, a flash fire on the Canterbury. Kestrel is not firing her torpedoes. Why? Oh, there we go. Two hits. Or just one, I guess. Second torpedo in to the Brandenburg, and she's sinking. Nice. Well, we did lose a CL, but the good news is she gave her life so that... Oh, fuck. Kestrel... God damn. It's ramming time, boys.
<laughs> Alright, how are my other ships doing now? Are they still not moving? How about you guys, like, start to move? Oh, they are slowly moving. Kestrel took some damage. I don't even know that we're going to need the battleships. I think Medusa's torpedoes should be able to finish them as long as they don't get a flash fire that blows them up. Also, Kestrel didn't take that much damage from the ram. Don't you have a bow torpedo tube? Like, why don't you fire that? You just want to eat broadsides of enemy... Eleven, 11 inch shells? Alright, one fish in. Stern tubes out. I don't know that that'll hit, though. It was in the midst of a turn. Ah, just missed. All right, close the range. Are you still only making six knots? God, your acceleration's terrible. Another fish out. This one should hit. God, the light cruisers just like to eat 11 inch shells. Boom! I think that's gonna do it. For the Lothran. Two percent. Outside fish may have already fired. Getting hit at point blank range against enemy gunfire. And rammer, but I, I don't have the angle. Hopefully, we can survive long enough to get another reload on our torpedoes. Looks like we need one more. She's steadying at 2%. Oh, there we go. Victory! The PT's like way out of the scene. She survived. There you go, victory. We sank two more enemy battleships and a torpedo boat. We did lose one light cruiser sunk, one moderately damaged. Another decisive victory. A peace treaty. We are winning. The German Empire government desperately asks us to sign a peace treaty. Should we accept? Fight to the end. Screw them. Why would I take a peace treaty? We shall defeat them until they have no ships left. Fuck the Kaiser. Damn right, Neuhauser. My blood's up. Let's fight another one. Uh, they're down to five battleships, by the way. They've lost almost half their battleships. Hooey! Bad day for the German Empire, huh? Fight them. One light cruiser versus our two light cruisers. Why are these guys set to screen? They should be set to battle. All right, time stand speed. Get up there, boys, before the enemy can find us. Daytime, cloudy, gentle breeze, and slight, so good weather.
I feel like we probably should be blockading them now. As Germany, I was able to block the blockade. I guess the British didn't have any battleships in that beta campaign. Somehow. The Barossa and the Adelaide. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, charging hard into the front. Tonnage is based with battleships. Having a bonus. All right, enemy seals there. I think he's shooting at our merchant ship. The Eden. It's not a battle cruiser. Those don't exist yet. Our lookout's like, gentlemen, it might be a battle cruiser. And everybody else on the ship is like, what the fuck are you talking about? What the hell is that? You're just making up names for ships now, Jack? God damn it, Kilroy, shut the hell up. Okay, well, we are charging toward the enemy cruiser. The Falke. She is charging toward us with her six-inch guns. And now we are shooting at her. Oh. One hit there on one of our merchants. They switched fire after a single hit on the surprise. Alright, let's cut in between these. He's trying to... He might be trying to run. He does not have a speed advantage, so that's good news. His max is 18 knots. Ours is 20 or 19 and a half. So he can... He can escape if he damages us. With, with his six inches, that's fairly, fairly reasonable. Don't slow down. Just blast out in front of him. I hate the anti-collision mechanics in this game. Barossa, you're on your own. Oh my god, you guys suck ass. Hey, we got a hit and a fire. First hit scored. Penetration and fire. I mean, last time we fought this these enemy cruisers, we didn't... Why are you slowing down again? You're way out ahead of them. He's like, nope, they're close. We got to slow down. We might collide because I'm the AI. Oh, now you're speeding back up. All right, get aggressive with your torps. Slow down. The enemy has turned into us. Oh, that would have been bad. All right, well, give me at least times two speed. Torpedo on the water. Hard over, Captain. They missed. We got our own fish out. Bow torpedo tube out. Should have kept the turn going and it could have gone with my midships. Hey, it hit. I didn't think it was going to. That's why I wasn't looking. Well, that just about does it. Does it? No, oh, don't go get hit by your. No, I made the dumb mistake. Ugh. Well, we lost a light cruiser. Oops. I don't know why my other broadside didn't fire its torpedo. Sometimes they're like drunken sailors just lighting them off and sometimes they're just dumb as hell.
I would have been better off ramming them. All right, their structure's at 31%, floats at 40 and increasing. They're pumping the water out. Faster. 19 knots. Sternfish is still reloading for them. Oof. Six inch shell hit there. I will fire my own torpedo out of the bow once they goddamn pull the trigger and then I'll turn. Stern tube on them is still reloading. Fish is away, it's gonna be a miss. We'll veer off to get a broadside fish. Veer back this way. Structure's at 20. That might finish him off. Hit. Sinking. It's over. It's over! I don't know if that counts as a win. Our tonnage is greater than his, right? Oh, that's a victory. Same amount of victory points, but a victory because we protect our convoy and the enemy has fewer light cruisers to give. There you go. The Germans fought bravely, but they lost. They're down to six CLs, six CAs, five battleships. Their admirals might be like, see, we turned the peace down, but that was the best turn we've had in a while. War continues between the British and German empires. Ambush. Ooh. You see, eight torpedo boats. Hmm. We managed to sneak close to the enemy with our torpedo boats. Should we try to attack? And then we have a battle. Two battleships versus two battleships, a CA and a CL. I mean, these fights could basically finish their fleet. If we sink the two battleships there and the one here, they'll have two left. That's interesting. Well, 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 how the turntables turn. All right. We have a lot of money in the bank. We should probably build something new. Um, how are our docks? We're working on 12,000 tons. We're up to 76% of that. If I cancel, we get 11.4. I didn't think I did the two-year thing. I thought I did the one-year thing, which I feel like it has been. Hmm. Build some torpedo boats. We still have 27 left, Zatsy. Although one of the things we did research is larger torpedoes. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. We've been going for almost an hour. The war is going great. We've got a couple of, I think, very important battles that we're going to be fighting in the next episode, which may determine the fate of the war. If the Germans manage to not lose these three battleships and inflict heavy damage on us, then they may still be able to hang on for a while and turn the tide a bit on victory points. It's certainly possible with the torpedo boats that they'll destroy them before they get close enough. But if not, well, it may be over very quickly. With that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please, uh, I apologize for the yawn. It is one in the morning. But uh, until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your thoughts below. And I'm out. Bye-bye.